All right, so I just got here, and uh, the Harp Patrol is driving around, and she was telling me that you're not supposed to launch a Dock A, but I'm like, you can launch a Dock A and Dock F. She goes, no, just F. I go, no, it's Dock A too. Been doing that for three years. And so she drove off a little bit to the side, and she came back and knocked on my window and go, no, you're actually correct. You could launch a Dock A. I'm sorry about that. Eh. At least it's cool. Uh, she was nice about it. She went and correct herself and gave some information. And it, it's always good when you you help people out because it gives you the knowledge that next time you can help other people out by actually saying, "Yeah, you could launch it, Doc A." But uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to start sitting on my kayak in a little bit. And I, it's weird to be on a Sunday, but there's going to be some people. So I decided to show up before it gets too packed. So from the last time, it was a little too foggy and I didn't have a light. I fished plenty of time in situations where it's dark or foggy or fog will roll in and you're not preparing I finally decided to make a 360 light out of some uh, PVC pipe and a little super bright LED lantern that I found at Dick's Sporting Good for about 40 bucks or $30, something, something like that. I forgot what it was. But it works really great, and uh, I just have it on low setting, and I think the low setting will go over to, like, let me see... 13 point 13 hours and 15 minutes and even in low setting you can see me really well even all the boaters saw me too so if i turn on high it'll be really really bright and it'll last about three hours and 30 minutes but it did pretty good and the reason why i didn't want to buy one because i'd rather make my own because it's multi-purpose i can still take the lantern off and use it as a regular lantern yeah don't do that yeah, just switch That's it out. How I know. <laughs> just switch it out and fish for what you're trying to target for. Yeah, go on, where'd they go? Yeah. Love it. I told my buddy I'd rather catch uh, mackerel all day long. Uh, no. No? <laughs> you know, if it was the Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm good with that. That makes the wife happy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the problem with having an Asian wife. She eats all my bait. <laughs> squid, hey, dinner. Oh, squid's Can't delicious. Hey, oh, yeah. Eat everything. <laughs> I looked up to uh, check on my light, see if it's still good, and whoop, there it goes. There goes my sunglasses right into the salt water. So later on in the day, I'm squinting because no sunglasses. The visibility isn't too bad, but still, you want to have proper gear just in case and just to be seen a little extra further distance. <laughs> I do have no light and boats are going right next to them. Crazy. Got my horn, got my light, got my flag.
a little bit smaller. Ah, come on. Link card again. Oh, there, Link card. Little by little. Oh, no, it's a link card. That's a keeper. That's a keeper link. Probably should just use a net, huh? buddy Aaron to come out here before with me to my link hot spot but Aaron doesn't like it because it's a little further that should be legal and a half little guy in the cheeks. Damn the tail. Got a not bad size uh, blue link. Uh, great for eating. And uh, yeah, I always enjoy filet though because they're very pretty looking fish on the inside. And I'm going to go and do a little uh, catch and cook video for you guys. So here's some live videos.
so I roasted some of my own rice and then I stuck it in the blender so got my rice powder I am using sticky rice and I'm gonna throw that on top of that once I fried up the the blue lean cod Anchovy. Some lime. some sticky rice in my bag and we're good to go.